Um, so I'm joined by Mike Whalen and John Foster, who I know are familiar to you, who um, <clears throat> John is the artisan who crafted this incredible bench. And Mike is uh, <laughs> the brave soul who dug the old time capsules out of the 2000 pound um, granite stone at the Korean church. So Today, I asked him if he would seal the new time capsules, and he didn't even have to remove his tie. So I think this was an easier, easier task today, but I wanted to give him the honor of doing that since he did the heavy lifting for us the last time. So the time capsules, there are three. There are two to be opened in 2065, so 50 years, and one to be opened in 100 years in 2115. The big one um, for 2000, and I sent you all a list of the contents. Um, the big one has all manner of documentation from the year and then there's another one that has letters primarily from kids in town to themselves 50 years in the future so um I, Tell me, I, you're getting right to it you can't be you're not he's getting, he, yeah he's not fooling around um i, I also want to thank chris alicandro who was on our committee and he helped yeah, us Can we show it to the crowd? Is there any chance we can lift it out, or is it already kind of in? There is no chance. It's in. Never mind. Yeah, Disregard. We can't, this is the one flo Another We dumb can't idea get our fingers right. around right. it to pull it back out, so that's a problem for somebody 50 years in the future. Um, but I will say, John, Puzzle. so John is sealing it now with tamper-proof screws yeah. with a special bit on his drill. And if the people in the future do not have that, he has cleverly concealed one right there in the um, bottom of the bench for them. So. Uh, he's made it as easy as he possibly can for them to retrieve it. Um, there's a, uh, a international society for time capsules, believe it or not, that registers time capsules. So I will register all three of these. Um, they estimate that 9,000 of the 10,000 time capsules in existence have been lost. So oh. we're doing everything we can to hide this in plain view in the library and register it and put as many pointers as we can to it and, you know, control whatever variables we can to make sure that people at the next celebration will find it and enjoy revealing it the way that we did when we uh, when we dug the old ones out of the Korean church. So thank you for your participation. This has been a really fun project. Mr. Chair, so Sorry. is the bench going to reside in the library? Yeah, it's going to sit here for the next year until the new building is done, and then it will be moved over to some secure location in the library, you know, inside the main doors. Excellent. Along with that, that quilt thing is going to go over there, too. That's really nice. Yeah. Actually, where did that come from? Gene, Can we talk about that? Yeah, talk, uh, talk about the new prop here. The, um, so that will also go in the library. John, your drill bit's still in there. He's got it. Um, that will go, that was a fundraiser for the library renovation project. It was worked on by a lot of um, of quilters in the town and Susan Marshall really did a tremendous amount to solicit donations and sell the book spines. There are some notable authors on there. Um, Laura Hellenbrand, the author of Unbroken, signed a spine. Geraldine Brooks, so a lot of really <coughs> internationally known authors signed it, as well as a lot of people in town donating money. The middle shelf uh, represents all of the founding fathers that donated the original money to get the library built in the yeah, first place. It's very symbolic. So it's um, cool. it's sort of to honor them. So yeah. So hopefully these two things will stay together in the library and be enjoyed um, by everybody. It's very nice. Excellent. So I think John and Mike can tip the bench back up for you and and place it here. I, I will come back tomorrow and put the rest of these screws in. Yeah, I was okay. wondering about so if anyone wants to break in this, you break in tonight. <laughs> And you'll see when they turn it over, you'll see there's also a plaque in the front that really says, like, yeah. right here, this is where they are. So hopefully people will find them. Other than a giant billboard. And open them up. Excellent. Yeah. So we'll just put it in front here. For yeah. Meeting. Well, you guys should get a picture with it one last time. All right. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Great job. Thank you. <laughs>